our bullet holder. Our job list and the Fujikura 12S with tools. R50 nicely lubed for insertion into the into the bullet. That's coming through here. That's it. That's good. Now it's fusing it and then it'll give us a reading to say what sort of loss we can expect on that fibre and if it's greater than 0.07 we will bin it and it's 0.0 dB so that's an excellent one. So we fuse the purple to the orange and the yellow to the blue which is for West House and it's going on tube 8 fibres 9 and 10. So this is tube 8 and fibres 9 and 10 are uh, orange and, uh, sorry, uh, purple and yellow. And West House's tube is there going into the bullet and into the access chamber and the house itself is down there. With a windbreak. <coughs> We don't need a tent today because for a change it's not raining. And there's the bullet lid that we'll go back on in a minute. And now it's just heating uh, this splash protector thing there in the little oven. We've got the heat light on and the orange and blue fibres from the customer <coughs> have joined the yellow and the purple from the main feed up in the hole. So this is the Fujikura 12S in the field. There's the second one ready, so now we can take it out when it cools down and wrap it into the bullet. Can't we, Ian? Yes, Sir Christine, <laughs> we certainly can. Yes, which will be a joy. <laughs> All the accessories you can see we're using are homemade, they're made out of wood. The workbench has been repaired by Ian and the bullet holder and the tray that we fusion splice on. And there's the trench that was dug and the currently down there digging it into the next farm. So let's have a walk down and see what they're up to. So here's the mini digger and this digger is joining the ducks. Oh and this farm is getting his sheep in there. So, so um, the idea is I want that to be laid out so it comes as far this way as it can. And then So this is the main duct coming from the hall, which is joining up now to the main duct going towards Cressingham and Hornby, and they'll join it in the trench there. So they join the tubes and then it's time for tea and Pat, our tea lady, always turns up and brings us a nice cup of tea. She's always very welcome. We then start gently backfilling the trenches and then we put the metal tape on top which will help us locate the fibre in the future should we need to. Then we have to get under the road so the contractors put a pipe under the road for us and we put the duct in 
through the pipe and there's Eric just putting the magnetic tape up to the fence and then he gets stuck but Pat the tea lady is still there and frees our Eric. The digger then continues to backfill and complete the trench and then this is the other side of the road where our ductings come through and that's our first access chamber heading towards the next villages and the digger continues backfilling. Thank you to Fujikura for sponsoring this film.